The reason why we've been getting hits on our website is because of you. The reason why we have more clarity about who we are and what we do is because of you. And we're so grateful to you and and also you just being relentless to stay connected and like make sure that we're on our path and not giving up on our journey. Like that, I just can't say enough about that. So I'm super grateful. Um, so I am Brittany Young. Like I said, I co-own my business along with my mom. Her name is Siobhan Cox. And so our story, um, I am a mom of now four kids. Back when we started, I had three. So my oldest is 10 and my youngest is 10 months almost. Um, and so when we first started, my mom had just gotten laid off from her job and she went and... Um, lived out a dream of hers to go to culinary school. Um, so she had gone to culinary school and it was in the midst of the pandemic when she finished and I was working, I was a learning specialist at a private school and I was like, I wanna come home and homeschool my kids. So she um, had finished culinary school but didn't have like a full-time job. And I had just left my um, well-paying job to come home and homeschool my kids. And we were talking, we had just lost my grandmother um, and we were just talking about all different things. And we came up with the idea of Taste Buds where we wanted to expose kids to um, the world because that was my grandmother's thing. She wanted her kids to know the world outside of their radius, their 10 mile radius. And um, so we were like, we want to be able to do that with all kids. So we came up with Taste Buds where we do cooking classes for kids and take them around the world through food. We first started with wanting to just do um, subscription boxes, but we didn't have any money to be able to do that. Um, and so my mom, we're also bi-coastal. So my mom is based in Los Angeles and I am in Maryland. Um, so my mom just started doing classes at my niece's school she started doing cooking classes. I was developing the curriculum and creating videos for them. And she was using my videos and then she would teach them how to cook the dish and they loved it. Um, and then we, we kept going. Um, and eventually she flew out here and we started doing our first classes out here in Maryland in the DMV area. And so now um, and we just took off here and I probably because I, I'm a teacher here. So I had more educator and administrator connections here. Um, and so things started to open up here. We were first marketing directly to parents and that really wasn't um, proving to be like uh, lucrative. It was, And then the marketing piece of that was really hard. So then we shifted to market like directly to schools so that we could just get contracts with schools. And then we we knew we'd have a base number of kids um, versus like just trying to like, OK, well, we got one parent that signed up and that's all. And can we still do this class? Does it make sense? And in the midst of it all. Um, like I said, I, you know, I wasn't bringing in a paycheck. My mom wasn't bringing in a paycheck. So, um, shouts out to my husband and also my dad, cause my mom's still married to my dad for being support systems and holding us down and believing in this dream. And it's been very, very difficult. Lots of tears, lots of like, did I, am I messing my family up with this? Like, do I just go back to work? Um, and I'm still, I'm still homeschooling my kids. And so the whole journey, um, God has just taught me to, I was holding on to the vision like this and he just has made me surrender, like to keep my palms open that he placed the vision here, but to keep my palms open because I don't know how it's going to turn out. The way I think it's going to turn out is not the way that it's going to turn out. And I had to just really realize that with a bunch of things that he's given me, because I also started a micro school <laughs> with my kids and the different homeschoolers in our community. So the micro school, taste buds, all that. Um, and it was hard, but now I've surrendered. And the other part of that is like now I'm going back into the school system, going back to my, the job that I left asked me to come back to be their director of curriculum instruction. So, 
and they're paying me a significant amount more money than I was being paid when I left there. And I had have been gone for four years. So that's the crazy part of me letting go because I wouldn't have been able to accept that job if I was holding on to the way I thought things were supposed to happen. Um, and so that's the transition that we're making now that I'm going back to work next school year full time, but Taste Buds is still moving. We're still rock and rolling. We've got summer camp happening um, and schools are still contacting us to do different things because we, we do our in-person classes. We also have a children's book that we wrote called My Oh My, I Can't Wait to Eat This Pie. Um, and that's in honor of my grandmother. So we also do school visits, just author visits, just reading the book for kids. And so now we're at a place where like, okay, God, and I had written this. <laughs> Thank you, Alicia, for the commercial. Yes, that's our book. <laughs> um, it's on Amazon, um, but you also pay, get, get it from our website. But um, I um, am now, we're now at the point I'd written this in my journal a long time ago of like, we'll be, we're going to have to hire teaching teams and different teams will be out because we also have schools contacting us on the West Coast now too um and the east coast so like god is like so now it's really like okay god like what now i have to figure out how to hire people and like you know scale it and so there's also like all right let go of a fear of success because i think that's also like making me mm, i don't know how to do it so i'm not gonna do it but um god is really just like i told you to let go and let god and it's gonna be okay and I've already claimed that this is um, our money season. So that's already showing itself to be, um, you know, to, to, to be, to, to come to fruition um, in the things that are happening right now. So I'm just grateful to God and I really am in a place of surrender. And, I'm, and now I'm excited. Like the process is more exciting because it's like, all right, I'm letting go. I'm just going to see what you do with this thing. Let's ride this roller coaster. So that's me and that's my story.